It's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we got breaking news right now today. Ford has announced pricing for the 2023 Ford F-50 Lightning, and no surprise, it's more expensive by a lot. In this video, I'll tell you what the new pricing is versus the 2022 model year. I'll also tell you about some other features coming and some new colors coming to the 2023 Ford F-50 Lightning. You can find all the details we're going to reference here on PickupTruckTalk.com. I literally just threw up a fast story. <laughs> I just really wrote this up. So starting price climbs up $7,100 for the 2023 Ford and 50 Lightning. That's the base truck. Now, remember this one was $40,000 for a crew cab, 230-mile range truck. It was a standard base truck. A lot of fleets got in this deal. It's a good fleet truck. And uh, I said, if you got that truck, you got a golden ticket because I think that's a lost leader for them. And with the matter material pricing growing and more people are building EVs now, you have raw material pricing skyrocketing, lithium skyrocketing, cobalt skyrocketing. And so, and also the fact that EVs require or actually use, I think, between two, three times more semiconductors than gasoline. I, I don't have the exact quote on me, but they at least double the number of semiconductors. So a lot more expensive to build. They're just expensive uh, vehicles. And this shows, especially with also inflation and everything getting more expensive. But here's the trick. Here are your pricing. They are talking about, let me get the quote first. Hold on, let me get the quote. Current order holders awaiting delivery are not impacted by these price adjustments, okay? We've announced pricing ahead of reopening order books so reservation holders can make an informed decision around ordering a Lightning. So res the books open August 11th for the 2023 model year. So that's why they did it. Here you go. The Pro, which is a, the that inexpensive kind of work truck looking uh, vehicle. Looking at 2023 model year, you have differences destination that goes 100 bucks as well between the different model years. Destination keeps climbing. I mean, it will be two, three thousand bucks for too much longer. Just that's the way it's working out. Uh, your difference here is $7,100. XLT, $6,600. XLT high, um, I'm not sure. Oh, that's the high, just standard battery. That didn't change, which is interesting. And extended range high XLT, which is their packaging, is up $8,600. Lariat was up $7,100. Lariat Extender Range was up $8,500. And Platinum Extender Range is up $6,130. So we were already getting close to $100,000 as the starting price. And I bet you one more model year will be there. A little more increases will be there. 100, 100 grand for an EV truck. In that case, 300 miles of 310 miles, I think, in that case, of Extender Range. The, uh, the range is interesting. Let, let me get to this in a minute. So uh, they have 10 more miles of range for the 2023 Ford Infinity Lightning. This is the, the base truck will increase by 10 miles more range, standard range battery. Extended estimated miles now are 240 miles, that 230. Ford says they're able to achieve this the extra range by making heated seats a standard feature with the base battery, allowing them to reduce HVAC load on the battery. So think about this. I wrote, basically, the heated seats will warm up your butt and your back, and it should allow people to turn down the heat faster allowing the battery range to be longer by not using as much heat. Remember in EV vehicles, everything you do in the vehicle, HVAC, radio, everything, contributes to re reduction of range. Unlike a gasoline engine, it's just it's different. That's because EV is drawing straight from the battery. Now, I also want to make a point here about this estimated miles of range. We've seen time and time again on YouTube videos, on written stories and such, the estimated range is falling well short. If you're driving 70 miles an hour to interstate, we're looking at stuff that's like, if you're going to say 230, you're almost taking 30 miles off, saying 200 or 180 or, you know, 190. So it's definitely in the wintertime also concerned is that as well. You're seeing less range. It's been covered many times, and towing's also been covered a lot, which we'll get to in a minute. But Pro Trailer Hitch Assist is now an available optional lightning. So this system, what it does, it uses the cameras, and it, it uses the, the software to identify where the ball is going to go to the hitch. And it'll actually help you back up and get underneath that ball just correctly. If you ever hook up a trailer, you know, it's a back and forth game, getting that ball lined up just right. This system allows you to do it as, you know, as long as all the factors, you have all the stuff set up correctly and it, everything's clean and dry and the sensors can work. So the feature comes with a tow technology package option for the Pro, XLT, and Lariat trims. It is standard on the Lariat extended range and platinum grades. So it's a cool feature if you don't hook up trailers very often. It makes it super simple to hook up a trailer. Okay. Finally, the 2023 Ford Infinity Lightning will come with new colors. Avalanche gray and azure gray metallic tricoat. It drops the Alice blue, which I believe was a, like a bright blue, ice blue silver, and the smoke quartz metallic colors. Now, I went to Ford.com to investigate these colors when we lost, and they already put the avalanche and the, the avalanche gray and azure gray are in these. So here's avalanche, and here's the azure gray metallic coat. So I, the blue is already gone. They've, 
the blue's gone. The other colors are gone. They talked about um, it's all gone. If this works, let's see. There we go. Oxford white. And then we have iconic silver metallic. Was that one? I don't believe this one once. No, ice blue silver. So we have you know, basic, your black, your antimatter blue, which is a cool blue. I had that in the F50 power boost I had. We do have the red. And that's rapid red. So I'm on the Lariat trim looking at all the different colors. So those are the changes for the 2023 model year. Out, let us try the Lariat and see if that's got the changes of color to it. Well, no, it's got the same color. So that's what we have going on for the 2023 model year. Um, speaking, like I said, speaking of towing, we have seen that be the case where it doesn't, uh, well, it doesn't tow as well as they said it was going to. Uh, it, the, the mile per gallon losses are greater than they are in the gas engine from what we've seen. So maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe more extended range will be the answer to that problem. But currently what we're looking at is we're looking at a more expensive truck, looking at a little more different, couple different colors, some features. And then we also are looking at, and this is kind of not to get too political because I don't want to make this a political channel, but with the Senate passing the bill for the EV tax credit extension and not having vehicle limits as far as how many vehicles are limited by the manufacturing of credits, we will see Ford continue to offer credits for the Lightning. Now, there could be a period of time where they run out of credits because of the uh, when the dates of things match up, like when the credits run out, because they were getting close this year to running out of credits and when the new credits hit off. I'm hoping that gets smoothed out. I'm hoping that's become the case, but you're looking at maybe $7,500 additional tax credit for buying an F-50 Lightning, which can't be dismissed. I mean, it's quite a bit of a chunk of change, especially when the price is going up by about $7,000. I mean, tax credit, $7,500. Huh. Funny how that works, isn't it? Hmm. For more, check the videos over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.